we're going to do something a little different today. Um, I wrote a book called The Ultimate Boost from Within, 31 Days to Health, Wealth, Wholeness, and Happiness. And uh, I've been doing seminars on, on the book. And, I've, and I, you know, I, I got to thinking, you know, the people in my own congregation don't have this information. And so uh, for the next couple of Bible studies, I'm going to share with you um, what the Lord had us write about. And, and the whole thing is about holistic health, um, not just physical health, but mental health, emotional health, financial health, spiritual health, health in your relationships. I mean, just total, total health. Um, there's a scripture that says um, bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is, and, and you know, a lot of times you can take that scripture and make it seem like, well, you know, no sense in paying any attention to this physical man. And I just spend all my time in the word. And I'll spend, um, you know, and in, in prayer. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's what God intends uh, uh, for us to do. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And I think he wants us to be good stewards over everything he has given us. So physical health will include exercise, diet, physical maintenance, rest, and, and uh, dependencies. And dependencies mean things that, that we depend on that we shouldn't be dependent on. If I asked in there, how many of y'all smoke? How many of y'all drink? How many of y'all mental health uh, or minds, having an active mind, having a good attitude, your self-talk? What do you say to yourself all day? Some people go through the whole day telling themselves they're stupid. Boy, that was dumb. I am so dumb. I am so What? <laughs> Don't do that. Your self-talk affects your mind. It affects your mentality. And then your emotional health. The difference between stress and distress. How many know we can't live without stress? You can't even live without stress. Stress is good. Stress is not bad. Distress is bad. When stress gets to the point where it's no more helpful but becomes harmful, then it becomes distress, and that's what will mess you up. Joy and laughter, uh, worry and fear, envy and jealousy, all these have to do with your emotional health. And then financial health. Um, talk about what money is, savings, insurance, budgets. Um, And then social health. Um, you know, we talked about Sunday in the service how um, relationships are probably the most important things in our life. Relationships. First of all, your relationship with God. And then your relationship with other people. Most important things. So, so uh, habits, relationships, out outward appearance, these are social things. And, and speaking and listening. And then... Uh, spiritual health and this it gets into the spirit man prayer and fasting the bible worship and praise giving and the church so your body is how you uh, communicate with your environment your soul is how you communicate with yourself and your spirit is how you communicate with god prosperity man what is prosperity Health, wealth, wholeness, happiness equals prosperity. Okay, so we're going to start with physical. We're going to start with the physical. That's, that's uh, probably the easiest one. Maybe for some of us it's the hardest one. I don't know. <laughs> physical, the, the physical body. Uh, so physical health, exercise. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and you are not your own existence. Uh, being healthy versus being in athletic shape. And so, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to get anybody to run a marathon. I'm not trying to get you, you know, to where you can compete. I'm just trying to get us healthy, y'all. I'm telling you, you ought to be up, able to go up a flight of stairs without getting winded. Amen. Uh, it's becoming an epidemic. You know, we talked about America being the number one uh, 
country in obesity. Can you you know what's at the bottom? The the country that has the least obesity? Hmm? You close though. Japan. Yep. Japan. They 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 eat better than we do. And they ride bicycles all the time. They ride, they ride bicycles everywhere. <laughs> they exercise, you know. Just and it starts at the grocery store. Rule number one. Never. Never. Go to the grocery store while you're hungry. 